when I grew up, there was a lack of these really strong female characters represented from the media. So whenever I see a really strong character with a good background, I have to cosplay her. I have to be her. It really inspired me and really made me want to be the strong woman I should be. I'm Melis Cordero. I'm a graphic artist and I'm also a cosplayer. I come from Manila, but now I'm living in Maritina, Philippines. I live with my mother, my grandmother, and my sister. Uh, we're, we're a small family, but we're a happy one. I discovered Siege through my friends because we're all cosplayers. So my friend Dorotan, she said, Oh, uh, Kavera, you can definitely cosplay this character. She's, she's a badass character, so you should do it. So I took a look at the character, I took a look at her bio, and then I spiraled <laughs> into the game. We, uh, began playing every day, and then eventually we cosplayed. These operators in Siege, they're from Special Forces. They are trained very well. They have to strive and push through with all their mental resolve in all the operations that they do in their daily life. I've experienced a lot of uh, martial arts discipline, but currently I'm doing MMA, which is really fun to do because I get to use that also in cosplay. Being able to cosplay them in real life, it gives a sense of realism being able to actually put their gear on, their suits, it adds to the feeling of, yeah, this is really me for this day. A part of them, a part of their strength, a part of their resolve, uh, it sticks with me. And I, I get to use this strength and resolve even in my real life. Philippines is still a patriarch country. So women are kind of below regarded as the weaker sex, but we're making great strides in promoting uh, equality. As a woman, you really have to do double time. You have to do double the effort to be able to land the job, to be able to help your family. I think my mother is the strongest woman I've known in my entire life. I can't imagine the obstacles, the mountains that she had to surmount. When Melis was uh, nine years old, their dad and I got separated. So from that day onwards, I took care of them both alone. So this cosplaying, it helped her a lot for me. Cosplaying is always an extension of the game itself. I mean, it's 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 part of the community. I mean, that we're playing a video game, um, so everything's you know ones and zeros. But once you start cosplaying that stuff, it's it's kind of pushing it into the real world. The more that you put into that cosplay, the more it shows how much you just appreciate the game and the people behind it. I like the art that comes with it. The the effort of trying to build something, uh, searching for materials, crafting, and then collaborating with friends. They just create all of these stories for all the characters and how far they go into really being that character. And I think it's impressive. Something that impresses me most about cosplayers is when you see them just embody this character. You know, there's one thing creating a costume, but when you come to these events and you see living and breathing operators going around, for me, it makes the experience just so much better. Cosplaying is an escape for me from, from the usual, from the daily drones of work and life. I could be someone that I usually am not. I can be a soldier. I can be a magician. I can, I can be a warrior. Life, we already have enough problems and it's very very important for us to have fun because we only have one life to live and we have to live it to the fullest. <laughs>